Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple integration using your Tave account and Twilio to send text messages from various lead status changes in Tave. So it's very easy. We're going to need three things. Tave, obviously, your make.com account, which is going to integrate the Twilio and Tave account. And then of course, Twilio for sending the text messages. The first step is going to be a custom webhook step. You can see here, I have that set up on step one. And then the second step is going to be your Twilio, which you'll have to sign into your account if you haven't already done that. Now for the webhook step, you're going to create a new webhook address here. Just give it a name so that you know what it is and then hit save. You're going to get that address printed just below. You can see this is my test address for this video. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. And now when you first create this address, this is going to be spinning here, waiting for data. So if yours is doing that, then that's perfect. Just let it keep spinning. If it's not, you can click redetermine data structure here so that you can see it spinning. Now, the next thing is we're going to go into our Tave account and we're going to set up a new automation. Now, depending on when you want to send these text messages out is going to determine how you set up this automation. But just for this example, I'm going to show you how to set it up with a lead status change. So for the automation, we're observing the lead status change, as you can see here, and we're going to send this out immediately. Now you can do this a day after, three days after, et cetera. So you can really refine when these go out within your Tave automation settings. I'm going to click save and continue. And then down here in the conditions, I've just set up a condition so that it has to match my last name. And that's just for the demo purposes here so that if I get leads that are changing their status, they're not going to get these test text messages while I'm building out the automation, but I can still test it. Now for the action down here, we're going to do a new action and it's going to be a webhook request. For this webhook request, we're going to paste that address that we just copied right here. Make sure there's a forward slash at the end followed by a question mark. And then we're going to name the variable and connect it to the Tave token. So client first name is just what I've named the variable so that when it comes in to make.com, I can identify what that is. Obviously you're going to know it's their first name. So whatever you want to name it is totally fine. Date here is their primary session date. Maybe you want to use that in the automation to refer to it uh, in those text messages, whatever data you want to basically put in your text message, you're going to need to pass through in this method. And then for any other variables, it's the same thing and sign the name equals followed by the token. Now, something very important here, as you can see for the phone, I've labeled it for the event organizer planner cell phone. You do need to identify who you're sending this to. So in the case of new leads where you're just wanting to do this for all new leads that come in, my advice is to set a custom lead client type and that client type should just be named client or lead, whatever you want to call it. And then when you're referring to that phone number or anything else here, you'll know that if you put this as the lead client type, which you can search down here, same way I search for event organizer, there's my client type. You could search for your new client type that you created. And that just means that you're guaranteed to always have the right cell phone number. Now, next we have this quote link. This isn't going to work um, if in this example because I don't have a quote set up, but you can pass things like your quote link URL. If you want to say, hey, sent you a text, here's the link to your quote. So build this out as you need, save and continue when you're done. Now to test this out, I'm just going to change the lead status to anything else. And you can see here's my contact. I am the event organizer, so that number should come through. And when we go back to make.com, you'll see successfully determined here. You can click OK. Now that the data structure has been determined, we can right click and run this module. And we're just going to go back and we're going to change the lead status one more time. And that's going to push that data through so that we can work with it in the next module. Everything should be filled out here. As you can see, that looks good. So we can move on to the next module for Twilio. And for this, you're just going to configure the number that it's sent from. It'll load your numbers in your account. You can choose that from the drop down. And then the two is going to be mapped to your phone from the previous step. Just make sure it has the plus one in front of it. Otherwise, it's not going to send. And then for the body, type whatever you want this first message to be. In my case here, I'm referencing the client by first name using that first name variable. If I click OK, that's going to save it. And then we're going to save the entire scenario. 
we're going to turn on this scenario, but we want to change the scheduling setting because we probably don't want text messages going out to clients in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. So we're going to change the schedule from immediately to at regular intervals. And we could change this to 45 minutes uh, or we could go higher if you want. And then for the advanced scheduling portion, we're going to choose a time frame for when this should go out. So I'm going to say uh, I only want these text messages going out at 9.30 in the morning. I'll do 9.32. That way it makes it look a little bit more uh, random and not automated to, let's say, 3.24 p.m. So those are the times I want it to go out. And I want them to go out Monday through Saturday, not on Sunday. And every month of the year is fine. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save it one more time. And now because we are within this time frame, if I simply go in here and change this lead status again, it's going to run this automation and it's going to send that text message. Now, very important, before you close all this out, make sure you go back into your Tab A automation and make sure that you've removed any conditions that will block this automation or that you've set up new conditions that you want to filter the leads who are going to get pushed into this automation. So that's everything. I hope that helped. If you are looking for further instructions on linking your Dialpad account or any other type of phone service, it should be pretty straightforward. You're just changing step number two in the make.com automation, but definitely leave a message in the comment and let me know if this helped or if I can help out with anything else in the future. Thanks for watching.